Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. As you know, we are doing History of English Literature series and summary series. So hopefully you have watched all previous uploads. Now today we are going to talk about the age of uh, Dr. Johnson as you can see here. And we will be talking about the main characteristics of the age. And uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is also called the age of transition. Uh, age of transition if you don't know uh, this is the period of uh, bit, uh, between two periods where uh, it consists of the qualities of both the A's that is called age of transition so this is history of English literature and uh, if you want to uh, get all these notes handwritten notes you can contact me on my whatsapp so the main characteristics of A's are de uh, decline in the party feud we know that there were uh, two parties Whigs and Tories one was supporting kings and another was supporting uh, the the parliament but here now it was the period when uh, this party feud was declining and uh, the second was the uh, you can uh, see the French Revolution. French Revolution had great impact on uh, literary characteristics of the A's. The French Revolution was the climax to a long and deeply diffused unrest revolutionary ideas gave birth to democratic and humanitarian feelings. So in literature we see democratic and humanitarian uh, feelings because of the French Revolution. The Renaissance of learning. So this uh, this was the period of Renaissance of learning and you know that it was also uh, the influence of French uh, Revolution as well. The mild Renaissance was witnessed. They uh, studied archaic forms and old writers like Chaucer, Milton, Shakespeare and uh, some example like Bishop Percy's The Relics in 1765. So as you can see that they were now they were interested in archaic forms of literature and later we will see that in 18th century it is also called the age of classics and uh, because uh, they were you know the following rules in writing and uh, they were they wanted to study archaic forms so the writers studied uh, archaic forms and later they produced the same the new real, realism so in the novels of Richardson we can uh, uh, find the microscopic analysis and realistic portrayal of character and fielding never spare his readers the sordid realities of life now they want they don't want to go away from the realities of life they incorporated the real things in their works so that is uh, that is called the new realism and we can uh, see in the works of in the age of dr johnson the rise of middle class so this was the uh, this was the time when middle class was rising and the fusion started in age of pope aristocracy plus middle class was uh, uh, it was the complete of uh, of this age so means there were two main categories one was aristocracy and second was middle class middle class was rising they are weary of long continued artificiality now they don't want uh, you know the artificiality of the age of pope uh, like we uh, studied in uh, previous like rape of lock is a work where artificiality was uh, shown so the writer usually pick the topics from uh, you know society and they want to correct the society's uh, follies so they write such satires and other things so now the people were fed up of artificialities in uh, things the long repressed emotions were now reinstated they started uh, taking out the you know long repressed uh, emotions and now they uh, it was reinstated now the humanitarian spirit from uh, you can say uh, this was also influence of the French Revolution uh, people became familiar with the notions of equality liberty and brotherhood these were slogans of uh, French Revolution so that was th that was influence of French Revolution and um, I always focus on this thing that uh, don't just study literatures uh, literary part but social uh, influence we should study the, so that it can help us uh, understanding the works in a better way 
next is uh, the philosophy of rousseau and the french revolution popularized the democratic ideals and this was finally the age of uh, transition we find pope like uh, Dr. Johnson and uh, Goldsmith, they followed Augustine slavishly and Blake and Burns also who heralded new age of romanticism. So this was the time of transition and uh, Gray and Collins uh, who are, you can see here, uh, who are the true transitional poets, they share both the romantic and classic characters. So this, these uh, two writers, we can say they were representatives of this time or uh, this age. So hopefully you understood the social condition of the age of Johnson, the age of transition and uh, we will keep on studying literature in this way. If you like the video, please do thumbs up and share this with others. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.